Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Phil, Full of Life Ministries. Today's message is entitled, Insulating the Mind. The verb insulate means protect from heat, cold, or noise. Like when you add an extra layer of clothing to insulate yourself from the cold. Difficult times are here to stay for the unforeseeable future. And I know many of you are determined to experience life in its fullness. But we also must be aware that our minds are always under attack. And if you continue to allow these conditions, metaphorically speaking, to overwhelm you, there's the possibility of experiencing loss of precious time and opportunities to the effect of these tests or conditions. In order to insulate your mind, you have to transform the mind. Romans 12 and 2 says, don't be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds so that you can figure out what God's will is, what is good and pleasing and mature. This is why prayer is vital in insulating your mind. Spending quality time with the Lord gives you the confidence to believe that no matter what attacks that may come your way, you can face each challenge with a boldness, knowing his insulation is built to withstand the mental, physical, financial, and even spiritual elements that we all face. Another component in insulating your mind is you have to block out the noise (laughs) by being still and knowing that he is God. Psalms 46 and 10. You see, God often speaks loudest when we are quietest. When we're still, God insulates us and reassures us that we are protected against the noise that life throws our way. When I think of noise, I often reflect how the word fear is written. And there is an acronym that best describes fear. False evidence appearing real. Listening to the voice of the Lord blocks out the fear and it throws off any extra baggage and it gets rid of the sin that trips us up. Hebrews 12 and 1. Colossians 3 and 12 says, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Wearing these God-designed garments demonstrates to others who are draped in sin and covered in rebellion that living by the principles and standards of Jesus Christ enables you to flourish creates harmony and unity to our world. So people of God, it's important to focus on making sure your mind is insulated. For God's will for you and me is to not allow the patterns of the world to change you and to make you feel defeated. I wanna encourage you today by remembering these words. God wants the best for us. And it says in Romans 8 and 20 and 8. Romans 8, 28 says, And we know that God works everything out for our good according to his purpose. Today, I want you to be encouraged. And I want you to continue to keep shining. And thank you once again for tuning in and supporting Full of Life Ministries. God bless you all.